Welcome back, Kiorana. My name is Haumea and I live in Cook Island. Remember? In my last video I told you about Rito Heads from Penryn. We went to Penryn when I was one. It's the most remote and the biggest atoll in the northern group. It took us four hours to get there. Nothing but the big floor of the Pacific Ocean below us. For the last four years there was no commercial flights to the island. The whole village came to welcome us. We got bread and butter and tea out of huge aluminium kettles. They escorted us from plane to the airport holding tarpaulin above our head because it was raining. We were the only visitors to the island. Look, this is the locomotive transport. No seat belts. Well, no seats. The lagoon covers 243 square kilometers. We spent time on the beach swimming and snorkeling. The water is teeming with sharks, mostly black tip. <laughs> Funny. Look. Mummy goes that way now. Penryn has the deepest lagoon in the Cook Islands. You can catch parrotfish here or dive for golden pearls, which we obviously did. We got many poa pipi, but only two had tiny golden pearls hidden inside. So we ate some others. We had an amazing experience. These are results of many trips. Once again the whole village came to the airport, this time to say goodbye. They prayed for our safe journey and sang in powerful voices that brought us to tears. Far more popular tourist destination than Penryn is Achu. It has two to six visitors at any given time or up to 200 visitors a year. When we were there, there were three foreign visitors, me, mommy and daddy. Despite small amount of visitors, the airport security is really tight, as you can see. Now I will digress a little bit. You see, my mom is quite a good cook. But in baking, she's not a genius. One time, we made muffins together, but we didn't raise at all. So I said to mom to put them in the oven again and wait, and maybe they will raise second time, but my mom said it doesn't happen. One doesn't get second chances in baking. Next time we were baking, because you see my mom doesn't give up that easily, I didn't take any chances. It's different with Achu, you see. It's a good muffin. It raised once, but then it decided to raise a second time. When it raised a second time, what once used to be a lagoon with corals became a Makatea. Notched into the cliffs of Makatea are over 26 unspoiled beaches. We went to quite a few of them and we were the only people as far as I could see. Makatea is covered with jungle and riddled with caves. One of them live little birds who navigate like bats, except that they make audible sounds. Funny clicking noises. They too use echolocation. Achu is full of birds. So we look for the birds, not very carefully though, drank locally grown and roasted coffee, visited some caves, we even learned how to make kikau, grass skirts worn on traditional dances. Definitely not easy. So then my parents felt like they should definitely visit a tumunu. Purely for research purposes, of course. It's a tradition, so not to be lousy tourists, they had to try some. Afterwards, mommy made more muffins, and nobody cared if they raised or not. She served them upside down anyway. <laughs> 